Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? Um, it's kind of doing a little breakfast cooking. Um, cooking some sausages, um, pretty much, and nothing fancy. You know, I'm just getting some morning breakfast in. Um, even though it's almost lunch time, but it's more brunch to me because it's almost lunch time. Um, I had a friend come over, he sprayed my house and everything with um, chemical spray for insects and uh, he opened his just opened his business up for it and it has been business has been blooming and for people to call him and everything um, my next video I'll try to I don't know if he'll travel out of the state I don't know if he'll do that but um if you live in the Missouri area, you know, around like the Lake of the Ozarks or um, Jeff City area, um, you could probably go out that way or toward the Camden area. Um, but other than that, it's just that we sat and talked for a while and everything. And I mean, he, well, he was asking me about my camera and everything. He said, What do you use that for? And I said, Told him what I used it for, and he's like, all right, all right. So, <laughs> pretty much, um, he swung by. We sat and visited and talked for a while and everything. And as you can tell, you can see that I'm a Chiefs fan. Um, it's the dope, dope cup. I mean, I don't, I don't care what anybody says, you know, a friend of mine got it for me at work, um, Christmas, um, last year, and one of my closest friends of a manager, and she knew I liked the Chiefs, and she knows I'm a hard worker, she knows I get along with everybody, so she basically took me under her wing, and so basically, she got me two cups and a Chiefs ornament um, last year for Christmas party um, so I drink out and if I don't feel like drinking out my big only time I drink out of my coffee mug uh, of the Chiefs is if I'm like going on a road trip and you know I need some coffee in me to keep me awake behind the wheel otherwise my biological father, um, he ended up a while back, a long time ago. Um, he went out real late one night. You know, he was an alcoholic, and he went out partying all, all the time and everything. And well, he fell asleep because he fell asleep behind behind the wheel. He stayed up so late partying with all his friends and everything, and. He kept going out after every night, after every night, after every night. And then he just come to realize that, you know, alcohol ain't for him. After he had that car, because that car wreck messed him up bad. And the judge, you know, the judge, you know, felt sorry for him. He said, I'm gonna let you go. He said, you're already in pretty much bad shape. You know, I can't really do anything to you, but let's consider this a warning. But, the thing of it is, let's cook us some breakfast, that's all in the past, you know, living a life to the fullest, being myself, I'm gonna have a good day, no, you cannot have my sausages, or for me, not you, but if you was here, I'll probably cook some for you if you wanted some. But you're not here with me, so pretty much you're just out of luck. So you have to go out and get your own sausages. Um, these are pre made sausages. You know, that way you don't have to chop them up or whatever. Um, I always buy the pre, a pre, pre stuff already made um, as a store. That way I don't have to do a lot of extra work to basically. You know, like let's say on hamburger, pat it all down and everything. I guess you can say I'm lazy when it comes to cooking. You know, I want to be quick. I want to be fast. 
you know, get it cooked, get it, get it in, and everything else where I can eat it. Uh, and that's the thing. And that's the thing. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's going to be cooked and everything. Put a little chunk of it came off. And that's the thing, you know, when, you know, cooking, you know, nobody really taught me on how to cook. And when I moved out on my own, I just learned it. I just learned it by, you know, when I when I was living with my grandparents, I was living or living with my biological father and the other half. Um, his other half, my biological father, his other half, which he married a guy, and which became my stepfather, which was an asshole at the time, and. I just watched him on how I, I just watched him on how he cooked. I watched my grandma on how she cooked. And throughout my whole life, I've always watched people on how they cook. And so, with me just by watching, I learned. I learned how to do things just by watching. And it wasn't really that hard to really. You know, it's not really that hard to cook hamburgers. It's really not that hard to cook sausages. It's really not that hard to cook anything. You know, if you're hungry enough, you will cook something. You will learn to cook something if you are hungry enough. You know, most people say, oh, they can't cook. Because they don't take the time and initiative to learn, learn something on knowing how to cook. Me, I just set mine on a, you know, I don't really need to be on that high. Sometimes if I really want to get it cooked fast or whatever, sometimes I'll set it on high. That way it'll, uh, cook a lot faster. But it really don't need to be set on that high when, like, cooking. But if I want to get it in faster and everything, you know, I have it on high where it'll cook. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's just... It's just the fact that It's just the fact that uh, a lot of people my age, which I'm 35, there are people out there that chose not to cook. They chose not to cook. Why? Because they were spending their hard earned money every day time and then when they get a paycheck, they were going to eat a Mickey D's, you know, for a $2 sandwich. They were going to eat at Subway for $15 then. Why? When you get bent, where you can go out and buy your normal food at a grocery store that's a wholesome food, more healthier. Well, even though this ain't really healthier, but to buying fast foods all the time, eat home cooked milk. You know, home cooked meals are the best foods you can buy. You know, that's the thing, man. You know, that's how. That's how body. That's how bodybuilders do it. You know, they cook their own. They cook their own things, and that's the thing. Uh, they prep their own meals, and. So, 
when when you go to McDonald's every day, you know, just think of the two dollars you're spending or however how many burgers you get, you know, if you're getting like for a full family, you know, uh, let's say four, it comes to like fifteen dollars a meal with tax. So you're spending you're spending about twenty dollars there every every week to see it at McDonald's because you want to get you want to get fat you want to get big and everything else. Well, I know how McDonald's cooks their food. I'm not saying McDonald's is a bad company, but it's just I've worked at McDonald's. I know how it's done there and everything else and. And it's just that it's not, it's not a good, good feeling to know on how they cook things. But they do have good food. I'm not going to lie. I eat there once in a while. But the thing is, you know, I, I save money. I don't, I don't go there to indulge at McDonald's because McDonald's is really not my brand of choice. Now, if I was going to eat somewhere uh, choiceful, would be either Taco Bell or Subway, but I don't go there all the time. I might indulge myself you know, once in a while, but I don't go out to eat every every day because you know of gas, on the traveling, um, you know I got bills and you know, all everything. So I'm really technically pretty much. Um, Look at that. Look at that. Uh, see? 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 You could probably smell it through. You could probably smell it through the screen right now. Uh huh. You could probably smell it through the screen. No, you can't have no. No, you can't, you know, eat none of mine. You need to go out and get your own. Because if you was here, you know, yeah, I'll share. I would share my food. But. I said, since you're not here, you gotta go out and get your own, cook your own meal. I ain't cooking no meal for you. So, if you want something to eat, you gotta cook it for yourself. That's how you survive. You know, learn on doing things on your own. That's the only way you can survive, you know, out in this world. And, that, and that's the truth. Survival to the fittest. And, it's about having strength, will, courage, and all other things, and even the mind. So if you can learn to cook on your own, you're doing good. But if you have to go out and buy food for somebody to cook for you, and you're not doing good. Because just think, I'm telling you people, just think, if you're giving your her hard earned money for the fast foods, you go pay for it at restaurants. You're giving away hard-earned money for foods that pay that you pay at a restaurant to make them grow even bigger and more on their company. But they don't care if you spend twenty dollars at their company on food. <laughs> but it is what it is, and that's all I'm saying for right now. Seven dollars four signing out. I hope you all have a beautiful Saturday. It is beautiful out. Um, I mean, it's not too bad out. I went outside this morning um, to talk to my friend that came over and spread my house and for the bugs and everything. But like I said, you know, cook your own meals. Don't go to restaurants pay $20 on a meal every time on weekends. Um, manage your money a little bit and then you'll do good. I'm doing good. So. Just a word of advice. Peace. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But like I said, always, always try to learn something new every day and do your research, train hard, train smart. But remember, remember, as Rocky Balboa, as Apollo Creed said of Rocky Balboa, you gotta have that eye of a tiger. Eye of a tiger. To be able to survive. Peace.